Hello, everybody. Welcome to a Zen in 10 stretch break. Uh, we're going to get a little movement, get your blood flowing, hopefully give you a little mental recharge so that you can focus better and feel better throughout the day. Let's get your feet nice and wide. Go ahead and stand up out of your chair wherever you are. And we're just going to start with some really big circles and just taking some deep breaths. Reaching as high as you can. Nice. Good. Now let's go ahead and bring your hands together. And we're going to go around, kind of around the world, getting your hips open a little bit, loosening up your back. Okay, and let's go in the other direction. The whole point of today is just to get you moving, hopefully improve your range of motion a little bit, and once again, give you a little recharge for the rest of your day. All right, one more there. Good, and let's reach up towards the sky. Really try to pull your fingers towards your ceiling, feeling your shoulder blades. Bring your hands down. Hinge forward at your hips. That reach your shoulder blades, spreading them apart. Okay, let's squat all the way down like that. Good, reach your hands up as high as you can. That might be a tight area for some folks. Having your thumbs facing the wall behind you. Hold that position just for a second. And then you're gonna come down, back up this chair a little bit. And grab your feet and you can use your elbows to push out against your knees and just kind of sink into that posture. Rock back and forth just a little bit. Holding on to your toes then slowly stand up. Feel that stretch in the back of your thighs. Roll up gently. And let's do that again. So you're reaching, really reaching those shoulder blades. Thumbs are going towards the wall behind you. From that position, we're going to squat down, keeping the arms up. Try to hold them there just for a minute. This time, we're going to change it slightly. I want you to put one hand on the floor, reach the other one towards the sky, letting your eyes follow your hands. You should feel that start to open up your upper back a little bit. Okay, and then switch sides. Rotate, reach up towards the sky. Really pulling that shoulder blade back, eyes towards the ceiling, following your hand. One more time on each side. All right. And again, grab your toes, stand up, nice and slow. Feel a good stretch in your hamstrings. Roll up gently. All right. Here we're going to loosen up your hip flexors a little bit more. I'm just going to use this chair for balance. If you're utilizing the chair for balance, just make sure it doesn't have wheels. Okay, we're going to alternate and step back one leg at a time. And that's just to open up the hip flexors a little bit. They tend to get real tight when you sit all day. I do this in a lot of my full range of motion stretch classes. And those are on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12.35. Join us for a full body stretch if you'd like. This is just going to be a quick 10 minute break. Really squeeze the glute of the leg that's stepping back. One more of those on each side. And then this time when you come down, I want you to come all the way down. Put one arm on the knee that's forward. Rotate the other side. You should feel that in your upper back. Hopefully loosening it up a little bit. Okay, really hold on to that knee. You should feel a stretch down the side of your leg. And let's switch sides. Other knee comes to the floor. Grab this one. Rotate out to the side. You should feel that in your upper back. And of course, in that hip flexor as well. Hopefully. 
All right. And then we're going to actually go into a tall plank position. And that would be with your hands on the floor, like that, if you're comfortable with that. If you're not comfortable with that, you can do it on a chair. Um, that will be a little bit more manageable for some people. And then from here, all we're going to do is bring one foot forward and rotate towards the sky. And you could do this with your hands on your chair. That's more manageable for you. Okay, come on down. And we're going to switch sides. So other foot comes forward. Good. Plant that arm in there. Rotate up towards the sky. And you should feel that in your upper back. Hopefully. All right, now. Coming down on your hands and knees in what we call tabletop position. We're going to do a couple of just reach, big reach with your arm and leg. Okay, come to the side with that arm and come back down. Big reach. Come to the side. Back down. Reach. Come to the side. Back down. Okay, let's do one more of those on each side. And back down. Reach. Okay, last one. All right. Now let's stay in this position. Let's, if you're not comfortable on your knees, you can do this in your chair. I'll show you that in a minute. We're going to do a thoracic spine rotation to open up your back just a little bit more. Okay, it's great if you can do that on your knees. If not, once again, you can actually sit in your chair and do the same thing. So you can come down like this and rotate to the side. Okay, it'll, it'll do basically the same thing. You just might feel a little bit more on your hands and knees, but do that to your comfort level. Let's try to do 10 or 15 of those on each side. Okay, so just rotating up. And you should feel the more you do that, a little bit more movement in your upper back. And I'm going to switch side. Once again, if you're following along, you should have 10 or 15 on each side. And you should feel those back muscles hopefully opening up a little bit. Okay. All right. I'm going to do one more here. Awesome. And then now, I'm actually going to go against the wall and sit on the floor. If you're able to do that, that's great. And I'm going to get right up against the wall and do what's called a wall slide, where I'm trying to reach as far as I can over my head. And in doing that, you should feel a good stretch all throughout your back. What you're trying to do though is keep your elbows, your forearms, and your hands all in contact with the wall. So you don't want to be here. You want to make sure you're actually in contact with the wall. I might be cleaning my wall right now. <laughs> but you should feel a nice big stretch back there. And I'm just going to do two more of those. Last one, just hold that for a second. Nice big reach. Okay, I'm going to scooch forward, and you can do this in your chair or on the floor. I want you to take your hands, interlace your fingers together, and pull. And you're squeezing your shoulder blades and looking up at the same time. Just pulling and feeling those shoulder blade muscles come together and really activate. You're pulling, you're pulling. Keep pulling. Okay, relax. Oh, reach forward. Let them separate. Let those shoulder blades separate. Reach up. Come back down. Interlock your hands just the opposite direction. Other hand on top. Squeeze the shoulder blades once again. Pulling them together. Trying to pull on your hands. Looking up at the same time, squeezing. 
Keep squeezing. Three, two, one. Relax. Reach it forward. Really separate those shoulder blades. Feel that stretch. And let's reach it up. Nice, and come out. Just let your hands drop behind you. And just let your neck relax backwards, opening up your chest a little bit. Then we're going to come and do that in your chair. All right, I'm going to bring my knees up. And as I stand up, I'm going to come back to that squatted position. Grab my feet, roll up slowly, feeling that stretch in the back of the hamstrings, rolling all the way up. And then last thing, in the chair, we're gonna have you turn sideways. Okay, let's put one leg out to the side, squeezing that glute, take the opposite arm and let it rest on the back of your chair. Get a really good stretch throughout the front of your chest. That tends to get very tight as you work on a computer all day and you're hunched forward. And squeezing this glute. Now at the same time, you're gonna reach up. So we're stretching multiple things at the same time right now. Keep breathing, nice deep breaths. Don't forget to check out all the links that were sent out self-care activities there's some great mindfulness practice in there just do the other side and then we'll let you go back to work today squeeze that glute bring one arm behind you you'll get a good stretch in your chest when you feel set with that reach your arm up in the air we're stretching multiple things right now hopefully you're feeling a little more open a little more awake and alert and can have a great productive rest of your day all right, let's just grab the sides of your chair. Gently reach to one side. Bring your neck slightly forward back. I know I said the last one was the last thing, but can't leave your neck out. Okay, and other side. Just gentle, side to side. All right. Thank you everybody for showing up today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you at 10.30 on Tuesday. For those of you that signed up, 2.30 on Wednesday and Friday.